today I really want to talk about tools that can help you lucid dream. These are things that I've personally used or I still use and I just want to explain like very quickly about each of these things, how they work and how they're going to help you lucid dream. So the first one is actually a fairly old one now. Uh, this is the lucid talisman totem. Let me just show you a, a close up of that. So the talisman totem is a lucid dreaming reality check totem and uh, as you can see it's very nicely designed. It's all metal, it's all engraved and everything. And um, what you do with this totem is you keep it with you at all times. And the idea is that you attach a belief to it, like say the middle bit, you just imagine that every time you're dreaming, this will be moving around. And so you look at your totem and you ask yourself, is it moving around? If it's not, then you know you're awake. Uh, if this sort of decoration here is moving, then you know that you are dreaming. I'll put links to all of these things in the description, by the way, some of them will be um, on Amazon, some of them will be on various websites, and a couple of them will be my own things. But so yeah, the, the Lucid Dreaming Talisman Totem is a really effective reality check and you can keep it in your pocket. They also make this necklace. They also make it in a necklace form like this, um, which I kind of like, but I always prefer, I prefer the bigger one just because you can keep it in your pocket and actually hold it e more easily. Whereas this is just a, obviously it's a necklace, so it's a bit harder to take it off and hold. And as I said, they do um, sell both of those very cheaply uh, online, so I'll put links to those in the description. So that's number one, the Lucid Talisman Totem. Number two is a very simple one, but a very effective one for falling asleep faster, and that is, that is pillow spray. Now I've used pillow spray for years. There are several different types you can get. The one you'll probably most commonly see online is uh, this one. The This Works uh, Lavender Pillow Spray, that's probably the most, uh, the best one I would say to get. Although it comes in fairly small bottles, so I, it depends, you know. This one was more or less the same price uh, and you get obviously a lot more in it. So the idea with pillow sprays is that you just spray them on your pillow. It helps to relax you, helps to put you in a deeper state of, you know, relaxation, ready for, ready for sleeping. And there is some studies, to, there are some studies to show that lavender pillow sprays do help you fall asleep faster than a placebo or than nothing at all. So there is some science behind it. And again, links in the description. Number three is actually my own course, the Lucid Dreamy Bootcamp. The reason I'm mentioning this, I won't go too much into detail on why I've, I've included this, but the reason that the bootcamp is so effective is because it's, in my opinion, more effective than any book or course of, about lucid dreaming because it's the only one that tells you exactly what to do on each specific day for a month. You know, with a book you can read a chapter, then you might forget about it for a week, then you might read another chapter, you might read a useful tip and try and implement that on one night. With the boot camp you avoid all of that procrastination and it literally says, day one, do these things, day two, do these things, and so on. And it's been tailored to make sure that you have lucid dreams within 20 days. It's been crafted and designed in such a way that it's exactly what I would do if I was starting from scratch and I just wanted to get to a point where I could lucid dream regularly as fast as possible. Uh, and so it's really interesting. There's a lot of uh, really interesting and inspiring testimonials and reviews of, for the bootcamp. Um, if you want to check those out, they'll be in the description as well. But yeah, so that is obviously my uh, my course. I will mention a few other courses just because I don't want to be like completely biased. But I, in my opinion, the bootcamp is the most effective one uh, so far, just because it is the only one that actually reinforces what you're meant to do on each day and it gets people to take action. You know, there are people that have emailed me saying, I've tried dozens of other books and courses, but this is the only one that I've actually taken action on because it says, day two, do this. And it, it sort of enforces that. It sort of ga gamifies it in a bit and makes it fun. It's like, you know, day four, you have a list of a couple of different weird tasks to do. Uh, some of them won't even be mentioned in other books because they're not very well known, these techniques and, and tricks. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting one. So that's number three. So number four is again a sleep aid or a sleep relaxation aid and that is a sleep mask. Now I'm not actually going to talk about this particular one, I don't even know what brand this is, it could be anything, um, but what I would suggest you do is just get something like this that's comfortable, um, that is big enough in terms of width and, and length that it's going to cover most of your eyes. Uh, a lot of the smaller sleep masks actually don't cover your entire eye so you get some light coming in through the bottom. Uh, I would advise getting a big one like this so that you, you make sure that you're blocking out all of the light. Uh, but then again Sleep masks are a bit of a, they're a bit of a weird one because at the same time they are useful but then you shouldn't have any light in your room anyway. It should be a completely dark and silent environment. So if you can't do that, if you can't achieve that, maybe there's a street lamp outside or something or there's cars or 
then yeah, a sleep mask like this, very useful, very good to have. Number five is actually a supplement and it's called Clary Dream Pro. Now this is a supplement from World of Lucid Dreaming but they've now rebranded into two different companies. So there's like World of Lucid Dreaming and then the Clary Dream Company. Now Clary Dream Pro is not a lucid dreaming inducing supplement. It's a, v it's a dream vividness enhancer, I guess you could say. It makes your dreams more vivid. It makes you much more likely to remember them. Uh, and it just increases the whole experience. Like if you're already having lucid dreams, or even if you're not, if you're just having normal dreams and you want to have lucid dreams, Clary Dream Pro is gonna make the whole thing more vivid. It's gonna make the dreams more realistic, you know, more profound. You're gonna remember them better and more often. And it's just an all round good supplement to be using. The ingredients are very strong, the dosages are good. Uh, and that's why it's on the slightly pricey side compared to similar supplements. At the same time, there aren't really that many similar supplements that can do what Clary Dream Pro can do. So, you know, have a look at it. It's really interesting. I've used it. I still use it to this day. Um, very interesting supplement. I'm good friends with the guy that makes it. And uh, yeah, link in the description. Number six is a Binaural Beats package. Now, I'm not going to include like a specific recommendation for these just because there are quite a few companies now that make good Binaural Beats. Uh, all I would say is get some good headphones. You, ideally you want to have headphones that you can listen to comfortably while you're sleeping, so sleep headphones. And the best ones I've found so far are sleep phones. Again, I'll put links in the description. These are sort of comfortable wrap around headphones. I've actually lost them, they were somewhere in my room. Uh, so I would have shown you, but I can't find them at the moment. But sleep phones are the ones I would use. And yeah, really comfortable. The battery life will easily last for an entire night, so eight hours or more, and then you can just recharge it via micro USB very comfortable, wireless as well, Bluetooth wireless, and fairly cheap. So a great option for listening to binaural beats. So in terms of binaural beats themselves, avoid the YouTube ones. You know, in my honest opinion, and I've tried lots of them. The YouTube binaural beats, firstly, YouTube downgrades the quality, especially of audio when you upload to it anyway. So the quality you're gonna get is never gonna be as good as the paid ones, which are, which are a direct download of the audio. Um, and in most cases, they're just fairly cheaply made. Not much effort has been put into them. Uh, they certainly haven't de haven't been developed in like a professional studio. At least most of them haven't. So just to be be on the safe side, I would say avoid YouTube, and stick with the the basic, well reviewed, you know, well known uh, binaural beats companies, which are Enora, Unexplainable Store, Meditations uh, Tracks, I think it's called Meditations Audio or something, and uh, Bliss Coded Sound. Now, Bliss Coded Sound, you may already know, is not actually a binaural beat at all. It's a it's more of like a subliminal slash uh, geometry based golden sound wave type thing. It's really impressive, um, actually more useful and, and effective than binaural beats, but it's not a binaural beat in itself. But again, there'll be a huge list of links in the description, you know, with everything that I've mentioned. So if you want to just go and check them out, you know, maybe read reviews, you can download free samples, all that stuff. All of that will be in the description. So moving on, I think we're on number six now. I may have got the numbers mixed up. Moving on, you'll be happy to hear we're now going to talk about some free things, some free tools that you can use to uh, to lucid dream, to have more dreams, sleep better, etc. So the first one is actually a very simple technique or method that I've been doing recently, and that's called inclined bed therapy (IBT). Now, what this basically means in several hospitals, you know, patients, it was discovered that if you inclined the bed by just a few degrees, the ideal degrees is, is about five degrees. The patients in the hospital would recover faster from certain diseases and illnesses and, and problems. It also helps with things like recovery from inflammation, from overtraining. Uh, it reduces things like acid reflux and indigestion problems in the night. It also helps reduce insomnia. I can't explain exactly the science behind it. All I can say is I read a very interesting article on it and I was sold, you know. So I went and essentially put some books under the head of my bed and raised it by about this much. I think it was about four or five inches, uh, which they say is the ideal distance to, to elevate the bed by. And I have to say I have been sleeping better. You know, I have been feeling better. I have been feeling, I've been sleeping sort of more thoroughly and I haven't had as many interruptions to my sleep, especially in the early, early hours of the morning. I've been sleeping solidly. So there might be some merit to this. I'll have to keep trying. But as I said, this is a free technique and it's very easy to do. You just put a couple of books or blocks of wood under your the head of your bed and you raise it up. I'll, I'll be making a, a full video on the inclined bed therapy soon. Uh, so watch out for that. But yeah, very simple. Just put some books under your bed and 
see if it works. Okay, next is a mind machine. The Procyon mind machine is something that I've uh, that I've tested. I've used it. It is a very good meditation machine, but this isn't for this isn't for lucid dreaming directly. Okay, this is for when you meditate. So a lot of you will know I've always said that meditation is very important for lucid dreaming and sleeping, and general well-being and mental health and things like that. Meditation is one of those things that a lot of people find hard to get started with. You know, you just don't know how to do it, and especially at the start you very much feel like you just can't focus, you're, you're thinking about other things, you're distracted, you can't seem to just let your thoughts go. And that is essentially what you're trying to do with meditation. You're trying to be aware of your thoughts without interacting with them. It's very hard to do at the start, especially if you've never done it. A mind machine, they're often called things like light and sound machines, uh, GANS frame machines or audio visual stimulation. A mind machine like the Procyon, which will be a link in the description for, is a device which not only plays binaural beats through your stereo headphones, but it also synchronizes those binaural beats with a, with a visual stimulation coming through the GANs frames. Essentially, they're sunglasses that you put on, and they have these programmable LED boxes on each of the lenses. And what this lets you do, or what the device does for you, is it plays flashing colored lights at various intervals. And as simple as it sounds, sometimes the simple things are the best. It really does work. It trains your brain waves and you instantly feel like you're meditating. Uh, for those of you who have meditated properly before, this is a way of like fast forwarding to the how you feel after half an hour or an hour of meditation within just a few minutes. But then you do pay for that. You know, these devices are not cheap. What I would say is they do last a lifetime. You know, they're very reliable. They, they work properly as they should, but they are expensive. So if you are finding if you're finding meditation difficult or you just want to get started or you're used to just having like a, an instant fix to something, this is a very good way of doing that. If you want to learn to meditate, it's a very easy and quick way of instant, like fast forwarding to how you feel after an hour of proper meditation. Um, so a lot of people find that very useful. I know I find it useful, especially on days when I don't really want to sit down for an hour or you know if I'm busy or if I woke up late or something. Um, it's a very good way of getting a meditation session in without spending as much time doing it, if that makes sense. And there's tracks for all sorts of things like sleeping and focus and awareness and all this lovely stuff. So check the Procyon device out. If I had to say which one I would choose, which mind machine I would choose, because there are lots of them, I would say to go with the Casina mind machine, which is another one I've tried. Uh, again, I have a video on that and an article and everything. I'll, I'll put as many links as I can remember in the description, but I would say the Casina is better than the Procyon but the Procyon is slightly cheaper, so it's up to you. All right, next is a basic multivitamin. Now, you're probably wondering why would I recommend a multivitamin as a lucid dreaming aid? And the reason for that is a bottle like this will cost you about 70p, or if you're in, the, if you're in America, probably about a dollar. Maybe even less, probably, probably much less, actually. And a multivitamin is essential because, let's say if you're taking a supplement, let's say if you're taking Claridream Pro or vitamin B6, which is for dream recall, uh, or even if you're not taking anything, a, a multivitamin is going to make sure that all of your vitamin and nutrient levels are as close to ideal or perfect as they can be. Um, and they're very cheap. You know, a multivitamin is so, so cheap that it's, it amazes me why not everybody just gets a multivitamin because they give you as many nutrients and vitamins as you, as you need, more or less. Um, obviously, they're, they're no substitute for an actual proper diet, like I would, I would advise. I would advise a plant-based vegan diet if I, you know, if I had to say but not everybody can do that or wants to do that. So a multivitamin is a good way of getting the vitamins you need. And it does actually include vitamin B6. A lot of the a lot of multivitamins include vitamin B6, which is essential for dream recall and memory in general. So it's a very cheap way of making sure that your brain is getting all the vitamins it needs. And, you know, I found that it, it did make a difference, a, a very small difference, but at the same time, it's so cheap and easy to do and it improves not only your dream recall, but also your overall health and you know your whole gastrointestinal health, everything, like it improves everything. So very easy hack. A word now on lucid dreaming devices. Now, a lot of you will have seen in recent years and, and recently even there's a lot of, um, there are a lot of devices on the market. They're usually released roughly once or twice a year. A new device will come out, which will guarantee or claim to guarantee lucid dreaming instantly. Um, what I would say about these devices is do your research, okay? Work out how they say they're going to work and how they say that they, the, like the science behind it, the, how they're planning to actually make you become lucid. It, does it sound like it's legit or is it more likely just a marketing scam? A lot of the devices out there today 
don't really work and I've said a lot about this before and it can be a bit annoying or disheartening to hear that because I know certainly when I was first starting I was very excited about the idea of a device that you can just like plug onto your head or you know put next to your bed or something that would guarantee or induce a lucid dream it's a very exciting tool but then you've got to think at the same time if there was something that could do that it would be huge you know the media would pick it up it would be very very popular um, and although a lot of these devices have funded fairly quickly you know and uh, funded to a high amount I'm just saying do your research be skeptical a little bit be critical don't just accept every marketing one-liner that's given to you as truth. I do have a post, okay, I do have a post sort of reviewing and, and commenting on all of the lucid dreaming masks or devices that are out there. I'm not going to recommend any particular mask or device just because they're updated so often, some of them are controversial, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of drama behind the whole lucid dreaming devices topic on, on, uh, on especially on YouTube and online. And I don't really want to give a recommendation until I've personally tried a mask and I can put my word behind it and I know it works. You know, I have tried things like, have tried things like the Sleep Shepherd, um, which was okay, but then a bit uncomfortable and a bit difficult to use. Um, but I've always found, you know, throughout the years I've been doing this, I've always found that learning how to lucid dream properly, you know, actually learning it and putting in the time to read about it and learn how to do it and how it works, that works so much better than any device or you know, any supplement, any binaural beats, it works better than anything because you've actually learned how to do it. Okay, there's no shortcut, unfortunately. So there'll be a link in the description to a post that I wrote, which I think that at the time of writing, or at least now, when, since I updated it, includes every lucid dreaming device or mask and a comment on them. There's links of how to get them if you want to try them with discounts and things like that. So worth having a read, you know, if you're interested in lucid dreaming devices or masks or technology or that sort of stuff. Okay, so that is my, that is a list. That is the top tools or resources that I would suggest you try uh, if you want to lucid dream. Okay, there's not a huge amount of them because these are the most, in, you know, the most effective in my opinion, the most useful ones. I have tried all of these. I can say that, you know, I can put my word behind these and say they do work. Um, there's a lot of things that you need to try for yourself. Like for example, binaural beats are quite a controversial topic because a lot of people, if they haven't used them properly or they haven't tried the right ones, for example, like I said about YouTube, the quality, uh, a lot of them don't work, okay, and that is true. But the ones that are produced to a high standard with research going into the frequencies that they're using and targeting and the timing of the frequencies and how slowly or, f or quickly they move from one frequency to another, the companies that have done that and put the work in, they do work, okay, and I've tried those. I've been really critical. I've, tr I've almost wanted them to fail uh, but I found that they had worked, especially bliss coded sound and things like that. So, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Leave a like, leave a comment to let me know if I've missed anything, because I'm sure you guys will think of something, and I'll see you next time. One more thing to add about the Lucid Talisman is, I actually, for some reason I have two versions of this, so there's actually two different versions here. There's actually two different versions, and I I don't, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I'm also not entirely sure which one is for sale at the moment. Uh, so as you can see, they are both different designs. Um, this one obviously is slightly bigger. I don't know. I, I kind of like both of them equally. I would say that this one I like that it's bigger, but and at the same time this one I like the colour scheme, I like the gold and silver, and I like the infinity symbol and everything like that. So you'll have to click the link in the description to actually figure out which one of these is for sale right now. I can't tell you just off the top of my head. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.